Hello everyone, Miss Meek here, and today we are going to talk about classifying triangles. Classifying triangles. We're also going to talk about how to find the missing angles in triangles. So today's lesson is all about triangles and everything to do with them. So first of all, let's talk about how can we give a name to a triangle. There's two ways. One is to use the angles inside the triangle. So if we have an acute angle, that means that all of the angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. So all angles are less than 90 degrees. That means that you have an acute triangle. So notice in this triangle, the angles are 60, 70, and 50. They are all less than 90 degrees. So that would be an acute triangle by its angles. A right triangle uh, has a right angle. And so we know that a right angle equals 90 degrees. So a right triangle is going to have a one angle uh, that is 90 degrees. And usually that angle is marked with a little box in the corner to show that it forms a 90 degree angle. So to be a right triangle, you just have to have that 90 degree angle. And then the last type of classification by the angles is an obtuse triangle. And in an obtuse triangle, you have to have one angle that is greater than 90 degrees. And so we can see that right there, that 110 degree angle is our one angle uh, that is greater than 90 degrees. That makes an obtuse angle. And all it takes is one. Uh, you only need one obtuse angle in a triangle, and you have an obtuse triangle. Now, we can also classify the angles by its sides. So looking at how long the different sides are. And there are three classifications for that. So a scalene triangle, a scalene triangle has no equal sides. So as you see here, the sides are three, four, and five. So it has no equal sides. All the sides are different. So that would be a scalene triangle by sides. Uh, this one here in the middle, this is called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. So it has at least two equal sides. And we can see that because we have two sides that are labeled as three. So our sides are three, three, and five. Um, the other way that they will mark that those sides are um, congruent or equal is they will put a little tick mark. And so the sides that have those little tick marks like this right here means that, hey, this side is going to be equal to this side because they both have those little tick marks. Those are tick marks that show um, equality or they show congruency. Uh, so it shows that, hey, these are marks that show that these two sides are equal. So if you see those tick marks, that means that those two sides are equal. And then our last type of triangle classification by sides is an equilateral equilateral triangle, excuse me. And what that means is that all three sides of your triangle are equal. So you can see that here that all three sides are marked three, three, three. We could also put those little tick marks. And so if each side has a tick mark, that means that all three of those sides are equivalent or they are congruent, as we say in geometry. So uh, the other piece of information you need to know about triangles is the angles inside. Those angles inside actually matter. They can't just be a bunch of random numbers. Uh, those angles in a triangle, all of them actually add up to 180 degrees. Um, the reason why is a triangle is actually half of a square or half of a rectangle. And a rectangle has four right angles. Well, 90 times four is 360. So if you cut that shape in half, 360 divided by two is 180. So that is why there are 180 degrees, 180 degrees in a triangle is because it's half of a rectangle's degrees. Um, so that actually we can use that little fact uh, to help us in our math because if they give us two of the angles in the triangle and we know they have to equal 180, 
we can actually use that to find that missing third angle. So here um, in this example, if I have 36 degrees and 94 degrees, and I know that if I add these three angles together, they're supposed to equal 180, I have an equation that I can solve. All right, I'm going to add together my two angles. So that's going to give me 130 degrees, I believe plus x equals 180. And now I have a really simple equation. I just subtract 130 from both sides. These are going to go away. And then I'm going to be left with x equals 50 degrees. So that missing angle right there is 50 degrees. So I can use this information, add all the angles together, make this equation, and then solve it. And I can find that missing angle. So <clears throat> let's practice that. Classify the triangle by sides and angles, then find the missing angle. So sides and angles. Let's take a look here at number one. Uh, I have a four, a five, and a five. So I have two sides that are the same, this guy and this guy. When I have two sides that are the same, that is going to be an isosceles triangle. So this is isosceles um, and then angles, let's see, uh, I have, I'm going to actually have to solve for X to know what my missing angle is, because what if that X is over 90 or, you know, less than 90 or equal to 90, that's going to change what type of triangle I have. So I'm actually going to do this a little bit out of order. I'm going to go ahead and set up my equation to solve for that missing angle. Remember, add all three angles together, set it equal to 180. Add the two angles that I know, that's 100, and then solve our equation like we, we've learned in the past. Solving equations, we do the same thing to each side to undo what's happening. That's going to go away, and x is going to be 80. So all of my angles are less than 90 degrees. So that means that I have an acute isosceles triangle. That is what number one is. This is an acute isosceles triangle, and that's how you say that you put the angle first, then the side, and then triangle is the shape that it is. Let's take a look at number two. Again, I'm going to do this one out of order. I'm going to go ahead and solve for that missing angle. So I have 45 plus 100 plus x, and all three of those angles all together are supposed to equal 180 degrees. I add together the two angles that I have, so that's 145 plus x equals 180 degrees. I'm going to solve this by subtracting 145 from both sides. This is how we solve equations. We undo the operation that is happening to our x, which it's, it's being added, so that's why we're subtracting. And uh, when I subtract that, let's see, borrow here, 5. Three, I get 35. So let's see if I can fit this on here somewhere. X, I ran out of room here. Sorry, my apologies. X is going to be 35 degrees. So 35 degrees. So when I look at this, I see that I do have one angle that is bigger than 90 degrees. So that means that I'm going to have an obtuse triangle by angles. And then I look at my sides, four, six, seven, they're all different. That's going to be a scalene triangle. So I have an obtuse scalene triangle. And so uh, my type of triangle is an obtuse because that big angle right there, scalene because all the sides are different. And of course, this is a triangle. So we put the shape there. So it's an obtuse scalene triangle. And that missing angle there is 35 degrees. All right, well, I hope this uh, clears up any confusion or any questions that you had about the different types of triangles, how we can classify them by angle, how we can classify them by side, and how all the angles in a triangle add up to 180, and I can use that to find missing pieces of triangles, those angles. I can find them because I know that together all those angles are supposed to be 180 degrees. All right, I will be talking to you later. Bye.